In line with the developmental focus of the Fashala administration on sports, especially at the grassroots level, the state government through the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Social Development in partnership with the Ministry of Education introduced the Lagos State Secondary School Sports Festival, also called the Bile Games. The sports festival has over 500 public and private secondary schools participating in activities such as chess, weightlifting, squash, table tennis, badminton, to mention but a few. This year's Ibile Games was an improvement of the previous year. This is because the physically challenged students were also given an opportunity to participate in the games. If you look at the last competition we held in terms of a BRF quiz, they were there. And they were prominent. So, and for me, you know, that's my passion. I'm a mother of 10 million children and no child will be left behind. Are, it's, all like, it's an inclusive kind of thing that I'm doing. So we have an opportunity for them to do this. They have the idea that we have set aside for them. They have loads of activities that we are doing for them. So it's, it's an inclusive thing. And government is very conscious of that. Sports, it's uh, part of the curriculum. Academics is part of the curriculum. So they just have to mix it together. And I've told the teachers and principals that they have to find a way around around the two activities because one cannot be done at the expense of the others, the On other the one. So they have to synergize and ensure that time, equal time are created for the two events. The day was an eventful one with various activities to spice it up. Commissioner Ministry of Youth, Sports and Social Development, Mr. Eniton Oshodi, in an interview with Education Report on TV, spoke on the importance of the students participating in sports and most importantly, performing well in their education. Hard work is the only way to success. We found the athletes, you've seen the best athletes across 19 sports now. And then that's what the Sports Council is there to do. Their coaches take them on to the next level. 
you know, up in the crowd here, you see there are people like Bosse Kafu, probably the greatest non-football athlete this country has ever produced, student, doing a, a doctorate. And that's what we like to hear. You do your sports, you go to school. Because sports is not going to last forever. Education is what will take you on forever. We've done 19 sports. We need to extend it to one or two more sports where there's interest and hopefully more schools. We haven't still gotten all the schools in Lagos. We'll be looking at getting the over 1,000 1, schools in Lagos. That would mean it would last for a longer period. But you know, the Sports Council is up to it and we're very confident that we'll have better games next year. His Excellency, Governor Mabatunde Fashala, was also present at the Sports Festival, charged the students to be more focused as they continue to excel in their sporting career. Well, our investment here is not for Lagos alone. And you will see that this is a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multicultural state. And every child that is in school here, this is also a championship between children in public and private schools. And so, for me, the future uh, is, will be as bright as we continue this. I'd like to thank all our teachers, our commissioners, our director general for sports, all the heads of the sporting departments, the games masters, the principals, They've done a truly marvelous job in giving these kids an opportunity to exert their energies, to make new friends, to compete against one another, to experience the joy of victory, to understand that you can lose and still be friends, and to know that you can compete again next year. At the 2015 Ibile Games, Morayo Okungboa emerged as the most outstanding female athlete. Didi Omolara Onome has the most outstanding athlete in weightlifting, and Ibrahim Faremu has the most outstanding athlete in Taekwondo. All the winners emerged from various categories, and they were presented with gold, silver, and bronze medals, and of course, mouth-watering cash prizes. Shared their excitement with education report on TV. I got eight gold medals and two silver medals, and I'm really pleased and I'm really happy with what I've been able to achieve thanks to the help of Lagos State. My training is always Saturdays, so I don't have any problem with my academics. The academics days are Monday to Friday. And I will Saturday for my training and my Sunday to relax. I thank them for giving me opportunity for people to recognize me in Lagos State. I want to say thank you to my coach first of all. He has done a good thing for me for training me for so long as so well. I want to continue. I want to use the opportunity to continue what I've been doing. I want to continue the practice so I can become a very good athlete in future. I don't even believe I will come a medalist in this competition until I run my tournament in the last final. I said I came. I came the silver medalist. So I don't talk to God. I can still do this. But I'm so happy. I'm happy because yeah, because this is my second Ibile Games medal. I won 200 meters silver medal. Through the Lagos State Secondary School Sports Festival, an array of budding talents have been identified, as well as ensuring an improvement in grassroots sports development. 